One of the things that I so value about being a United Methodist is the tension that it allows between not just the faith of our heart, but the faith of our head. And right now I'm standing behind me is Christ College, one of the oldest colleges in the world. John Locke, the great philosopher, went here, William Penn. But in 1720, a 17-year-old named John Wesley showed up here to go to school. It was precisely here that Methodism got its start. When John and his younger brother Charles would get together routinely in small groups and they'd talk about their faith and they would come up with ways to hold each other accountable, to engage in a deeper level of prayer life and a deeper commitment to service. But it's ironic that our movement as Methodists started at the epicenter of a college campus where intellect is at its highest. And it was here that John would wrestle with the greatest questions of faith, not in opposition to the intellect of academe, but in partnership with it. It's one of the things that makes me so proud to be a Methodist, that we can come to church and express our faith, but do so in a ways that fully engage our brain and our capacity to think. And it was right behind me that it all got started almost 300 years ago.